Sullivan, who has just come off the ground, allowing Bob Grieve on. Sullivan has played wonderfully for Collingwood again today. That mark was taken by Reeves against Eastmuir. And the man who has replaced Leroy Sharp as Collingwood's back pocket is playing very well. He kicks towards Fellows, and Height must win out. He was against Stevenson, and the six feet six boy for Collingwood marks it well and kicks to the half forward line. This was the umpire. Bob Johnson's kick over centre half forward, but it's going to Collingwood's Fellows. Fellows has been one of Collingwood's best, along with Merrick, Wiedemann, Turner and Reeves. Best for Melbourne, Thoroughgood, Williams, although outmatched in the last quarter by Wiedemann. Half forward, but gets the bad bounce. Big Fellows up. Such an awkward player, I wouldn't think he'd be able to mark the ball in any... Uh, in any way, shape or form in these conditions, but he's marked well all day. Great mark by Marquis. Wiedemann on his mark. Again, I repeat, in case you're trying to follow uh, the players by numbers, which may be familiar to you, all numbers have been changed. Mark is taken by Fellows of Collingwood. 12-9 to 8-6, 81 to 54, and the Magpies are travelling like real winners of the 58 flag. Burrell. Now watch the ruck duels closely again. It's Fellows against Bob Johnson. Fellows again gets the knock, playing in front all the time. And it's over the line. Throw in. Fellows for Collingwood palms it across to Gabalich of Collingwood, and the kick is over towards Melbourne's Dixon. Over the line, out of bounds, on right on Collingwood's forward line, just beside the behind post. Fellows in the ruck, puts it out wide in the direction of Harrison. He gets his kick in them. It's going to be really interesting. There's two points lead by Fitzroy and eight minutes left of play. As it is Reeves once again. He's kicked down to Turner in the centre for, for Collingwood. Playing well for Collingwood here. He moving over onto his left foot. You watch him now swing over left footer's natural tendency. Down towards Wiedemann at centre half. Forward. He took a nice one there. Wiedemann took a nice one in front of Barclay. Actually one of the few kicks that Wiedemann has had today but he's the type of player that could lift Collingwood in these last few minutes. His kick in turn has gone right down the full forward position where Gablich just failed to hold it, but it's great, picked up neatly right into the square where it's practically marked by Beers, but it's rushed through for one point. Oh, that was to Aston. Aston's kick up into the square. It's Reeves on his own. He picks up nicely, ever reliable. He's going straight down the ground. A nice kick. It'll be marked by Fellows in the centre half back position for Collingwood. He just well, played steadily all day, Bill. Oh, he has, Jeff. He's turned them back time and time again. Fellows kicks straight down the ground into that, just clear of the centre position where... Melbourne's way to go out of bounds on their half-back line. Fellows and Mann. Fellows down in the direction of Burns. He bulks nicely, and his kick has been smothered, though. Forward line, Melbourne kicking towards the Richmond end. Fellows grabbed it with both hands and tried to... Throw it down to Gray. He was successful in Gray's kick up onto the centre wing position. There, we'll just wait with interest to see what it is. Fellows once again taps down to Harrison. His kick straight up the ground. A rather risky one, but still it paid off as Chapman took the mark. His kick back out towards Thoroughgood. It's a shame, really, was for such a big crowd for the game to peter out such as it has. Fellows over the top to Harrison. Harrison steadying. He puts his kick right up onto that centre wing position. It's over the back of the pack. But it's Taz Johnson smothered that one nicely as Willett picks up. His kick just screws off the side of his foot to where this time it's man and he hooks it. 2 2 14 and about two and a half minutes left to play. Fellows taps it down to Harrison once again. 36 knocks, 22 is Keneally. Keneally ruck roving for Melbourne. Kicks the ball to centre half forward. Ron Reeves, one of Collingwood's best, and they've had many good players in this field today, takes the mark. Five goals still the difference. 23 minutes gone, and Fellows marks the kick. Fellows, between centre-half back and the centre of the ground, will kick this over centre-half forward. He's got the wind behind him, and it goes right over centre-half forward. Waters comes out. And Terry Waters is proving a sensation for this club. 
mixed up in a tremendous football controversy only a few weeks ago because Dandenong refused to clear him. He played a sensational first up game. He's got six goals so far. This could be a seven from 50 yards out and straight through. Magnificent goal to Terry Waters. It's Waters Day at Collingwood. The wing setting himself as Fordham. Fordham marks the ball. He drops it. He runs into Mitchell. Mitchell runs into trouble. And he's going to be free kick for dropping the ball and will be a free kick to Henderson. Just uh, a little bit to the side of the mud patch in the centre. He gets the ball, he plays on. Kicks it towards the half-forward flank. There's a chance for Errol Hutchison and also Fellows. Errol Hutchison is there. He's bumped aside by McKenzie. Picked up by Fellows across to Hutchison. Good football. Hutchison tries to elude uh, McKenzie. Does so. Handballs it across to Fellows. Fellows back towards the forward pocket. Waters flies, but in front. I don't know. I think it's Waters' mark. He's going to give the mark to Waters. Over the top of the uh, Essendon fullback. He doesn't like the decision, I can assure you of that. He's got his hands on his hips, but his water's not worried at all about it. As Waters has kicked one goal just a few minutes ago, and he's been brought round by umpire Swab. This will, uh, I won't say put any life into the game, it's going to be a pretty good kick by Waters. And it is a goal to Waters, his second, and Collingwood tenth, and they are two goals, five behind. Fine. Davis comes out and takes the mark. Davis is at centre half back. Scoreboard is Essendon 13-9, Collingwood 10-10. Davis kicks the ball to Errol Hutchison, who passes it along there to Fellows. Fellows takes the mark in what is very, very poor light. The picture you are seeing is far clearer than one we are seeing through the naked eye. It's very dark, and the ball is kicked into the full forward pocket. Oh, there's a good mark. Terry Waters. Well, Waters has been starved of opportunities today. 